Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am Ashrathi, the voice of New Eden. And with the invasions long behind us and the domains of Poshvin established, I am here to begin to answer a question that I am frequently asked. Who are the Triglavians? The Triglavian Collective is the latest faction introduced in EVE Online. Originating from the Abyss, the largely mysterious collective has been gaining power and prominence in New Eden. A fact punctuated by the fall of Niarja to Concord Control, along with the establishment of Poshvin. Now, nearly a year after Invasion Zenith, the Triglavians are still often a menace in any system connected to Poshvin via their new wormholes. However impactful the Trig are, their nature and drives are widely unknown and not completely understood. Many Capsuleers have mostly ignored the Triglavians until recently, and some have even resorted to spreading bad information. Furthermore, there is no out-of-game canonical information about the Collective, with solid answers, as there is with nearly every other faction in the game. Everything that we understand about the Collective comes from broadcasted messages, data streams, recovered Triglavian technology, and intercepted messages via device known as a Semiosis console, recovered from certain Triglavian facilities. Anything said about them outside of this is brought to us by Concord whose own motivations on this matter are dubious at best. But with a willingness to explore what is available to us, I think that we can start to get a picture of these ancient outcasts. While it may seem that the Triglavians are relatively recent phenomena, they are actually just a small part of an ongoing story that has been unfolding since 2006, a story I call the Precursor Crisis. This is something that I believe that we'll be discussing a lot on this channel. The short of it is that while the modern Jovian Directorate has all but become extinct within the cluster, ancient survivors from the time of the fall of the Second Jovian Empire have begun emerging into our modern day. This has had a profound and increasing impact into the lives of everyone in New Eden, and a conflict older than any of the four remaining empires appears to be kicking off once again in the form of the Drifters versus the Triglavians. The Precursors have returned. The little brother makes the final sorrowful steps home. He is not welcome and what that means may be a crisis for us all. For now, I will just point you to a two-hour long playlist that I have compiled a while back of every video CCP and Eritaka Research Consortium has produced on this matter. In addition, I have compiled a document known as the Precursor Crisis Document, which I have posted on Google Sheets, in which I have brought together all of the text that I could find so far related to the Precursor Crisis in the game. If you see something missing in this document, of course, let me know right away so I can add it. So we have a lot to dig into to go into everything that we know about the Triglavian Collective, and much of their origins and motivations are still speculations, and thus this is going to have to be spread over several videos. For this video, we will explore the Collective through the lens of a Triglavian that you may know, the Detached Executive Troika for the Sublimation of Poshlos Flow, or as you may know them, Zoria Triglav. Zoria is the most well-known Triglavian to us Empyrean Capsuleers. The three times the Collective hacked the billboards of New Eden, it was broadcasting messages from Zoria. Additionally, the topmost grade of Triglavian forces are named Zorias, as the Galentes would be presidential and Amarians be exalted. Zoria holds the title of the Detached Executive Troika for Sublimation of Posh Lost Flow, and the vast majority of communications we have recovered logs from are either involving Zoria or about them. They report to a convocation of Triglav outside of the struggle, who together represent the will of the three Triglavian clades of Svarog, Perun, and Velez. We will talk more about the clades further in a little bit, but for now, you can think of them as the three sub-factions of the Triglavian Collective. All of this and more can be gathered by understanding their messages, or prayers, to us. Whether or not you want to heed their words is a decision I leave to the viewer. The first We Are Zoria Triglav message, which was sent just prior to Invasion's Chapter 1 expansion, does a very good job of summarizing the Triglavians' positions. However, the only problem is that these messages are often cryptic, due to the Triglavians using Slavic terms and religious-sounding language to communicate their messages. So let's break it down and see what we can learn. We are Zoria Triglav. We speak for the, we speak for the communication of Trigos outside the struggle. Each of the three messages begins this way. They are declaring who they are and by what authority they speak. A few things can already be noted. First, Zoria uses the pronoun we to describe themselves. 
and when speaking seem to have three voices mingled together, that of a male, female, and digital voice. It is unclear if this is to mean that the Triglavians have multiple consciousnesses, or infomorphs, within a single body, or if they're doing this as some sort of effect to show solidarity. Zoria's physical form is always depicted as a female body, and so this has led many to believe that the voices are either representing the three clades, or the three subtypes of Triglavians, the Neuradnia, Koshoi, and Nafka. Unfortunately, this is another deep and uncertain topic, so we'll leave this one for later. As far as the convocation of Triglav outside of the struggle, the Triglavians live in a state of constant conflict. The Abyss is resource-starved, and they've been trapped there for some time. Each clade and subclade is in competition with one another, in something that they call the Proving. However, they also seem to recognize a shared destiny, and so have a grouping, or convocation, that functions to guide the collective and stand apart from the day-to-day -day internal squabbles. They are outside the struggle between the clades. The word clade is borrowed from biology, meaning a group of organisms believed to have evolved from a common ancestor according to the principles of cladistics, an example being the great apes and human clade. The word itself is derived from Greek, klados, meaning branch. We are an emanation of the clades. We are an emanation of the clades of Perm, Veles, and Svarog. Now a few words on Slavic mythology and the role of earthly mythos in EVE Online. After the EVE gate collapsed nearly 13,000 years ago, most of the knowledge and science of Old Earth was lost. This time is known as the Dark Ages. However, each of the surviving empires from the Dark Ages maintained traditions using language from the old ways, like a fingerprint upon their culture, albeit warped and the original meanings lost. For the most part, this results in the use of ancient animals and mythos in the naming of ships and equipment, and you can explore the empire's past via the names that they cling on to in the modern day. For example, the ancient Jove have a tendency to use Greek language in their naming, and thus we get the Society of Conscious Thought ships, such as the Gnosis and Praxis, as well as the drifter names of Apollo, Artemis, Charybdis, Scylla, and more. The use of these cultural touchstones hint to a relationship between the drifters, Jovians, and the sleepers. The Triglavians use Slavic mythology in their culture, which sets them apart from the other races. But that also means that better understanding of Slavic mythology may give us a better understanding as to the true nature of the Triglavians. Zoria is the name of the three sisters that represent the morning, evening, and midnight stars. The threefold manifestation is reflected in the threefold nature of the Zoria we know. Additionally, the deity Triglav is a three headed god who rules over the heaven, earth, and underworld. And wouldn't you know it, the three sub deities of the Triglav are, as you might guess it, Svarog, Perun, and Velez. So here we have an agent of the convocation of Triglav, who's named after the three sisters, who serve a god whose name is the name of their collective. And this god has three heads, whose names are also the names of the three major sub-factions of the clades. Now don't get me started with that, but Ashtarathi, the three gods of the Triglav are actually Perun, Svarog, and Dazbog. And to your straw man, I say, ah, but Velez replaced Svarog later on. Which may also matter to our understanding of the Triglavians in ways that I'm not really willing to go into it right now. And this is as far as I'm willing to go in pretending that I know anything about Slavic mythology. Hear the words of our prayer. Hear the words of our prayer. And heed them. Prayer. And heed them. Much like the Triglavians use Slavic naming to function symbolically within their culture, they also use religious terminology to mean decidedly non-religious things. In this case, the Triglavians often use the word prayer in their communication to mean some sort of formal message and often with a request. The ancient domains beyond the, the, ancient domains beyond the floor of Viraj were lost to us. The ancient domains are known space, the 4,000 some odd star systems of the New Eden Cluster, as opposed to whatever hellscape they have found themselves in in the Abyss. This line suggests that the Triglavians have lost the means to return to our space at some point. However, within the data streams, we have evidence that the Triglavians likely worked with the first Jovian Empire, and at least were aware of the second, which, according to Jovian records, collapsed about 2,000 years ago. I say, according to Jovian records, because the fall of the second Jovian Empire is one of the most mysterious times in EVE Online history, known only as the Shrouded Days. Viraj means heaven in the Slavic tradition. And, like the Jovians, the Triglavians seem obsessed with the sacred nature of their mission. While we once believed that the flow of Viraj may mean the Abyss itself, the fact that the F in flow is not capitalized when written seems to suggest that it is not a proper noun. 
The Triglavians also speak of the posh lost, or corrupt, or vile flow. This shows us that the flow in this case represents a path, or shared destiny, and shared goals. Likely this flow of virage is what keeps the convocation together, a unified understanding of shared purpose. We will be discussing the flow of virage and the posh lost flow quite a bit in the future. This line is one of the reasons why we once suspected that the flow was the abyss itself. It has long since been speculated that the flow is the flow between the three conduits of the abyss. However, they have another name for these sites, namely conduit loop constructs. With that in mind, it would seem that they are saying that the intruders from our world have entered into their existence, their shared experience, or flow. Intruders seek to corrupt the flow of Virage and the domain of Bujang. Besides us, there are records of three other groups that have encountered the Triglavians in the Abyss. Each of them have a set of six data streams about them that help us understand the Triglavians' experiences and opinions about them. We also get the Triglavians' name for each of these four forces. The four groups, including us, are as follows. AEA, Ancient Enemy Asdaja, Drifter and Sleeper Forces. DAV, Deviant Automata, Rogue Drones. HFN, Hivelinked Foreign Neuronia, Sanchez Nation. And AFN, Augmented Foreign Neuronia, Empyreans, or us. Their data streams describe their largely unfriendly encounters with each of these forces. However, the actual corrupting was done by the Hivelinked Foreign Neuronia, or Sanchez Nation. In other words, we can probably lay the blame on all of this invasion nonsense on Master Kuvakai himself. But more on that in another video. The ancient enemy Asdaja must be extirpated. Corrupted Narodna must be extirpated. Must be extirpated. Human augmented Narodnia must prove the direction of their flow. From here we can see the overall relationship with the Triglavians in each of these four factions. The term extirpate means to root out and destroy completely. The Sancha and the Drifters are beyond redemption. However, Rogue Drones and Empyrean Capsuleers are a bit more nuanced. Narodnia without fitness will be expelled from the flow. This describes their two-step process for analyzing those of us Capsuleers whom they have encountered. Those who move with the flow of Virage, as in, align with their goals and path, may or may not be fit to enter the domain of Buyan. Those who are within the flow of Virage but are unfit will be expelled. The convocation of Triglav outside the struggle invoke cladistic link. Testing between like types has been invoked. The original proving conduits, or PVP sites in the Abyss, are shown as they say this. Glorification for the fit and mortification for the The fit will be glorified. The unfit will be mortified. Glorified. Nothing can halt the flow of Viraj. We speak for the communication of Triglav outside the struggle. We are, we are Zoria Triglav. We are Zoria Triglav. And the ending of the first video is characteristically triumphant. And finally, the same formal phrasing as the opening, but in reverse. Prior to the end of invasions, Zoria sent a total of three messages. Thankfully, the other two weren't quite as information dense as the first one, so we'll be able to work through them quickly enough. As the World Arc emerged for the first time in known space, in a site known as the World Arc Proving Conduit, which was laid out like a giant proving conduit as seen in the Abyss, we received the following. Things are going to progress into the next stage. The word liminality is Latin for threshold. It's also worth noting that some of the stronger forces within the Triglavians' invasion were known as liminal. The 
pomiędzy. This line helped lock in our understanding of the ancient domains as New Eden. It is describing the World Arc Proving Conduit. Enjoy the flow or be extricated. This should require no real analysis. When things accelerated into Chapter 2, Zoria spoke for a third time. We are Zoria Triglav. We speak for the convocation of Triglav outside this travel. Glorification. Glorification awaits those fit to join the flow of Virage. They have found the potential to progress with some of us. We can be approving of Kybernauts in the ancient domains. This is the first time that they've ever used the word Kybernauts to mean friendly capsuleers. Guide and ground the flow and be fit for glorification. Abstract, Abstract and mortify the flow, and you will be extirpated. Aid in our efforts, and you will be fit for glorification. Get in our way or stop our progress, and you will be destroyed. We speak for the convocation of Triglav outside the struggle. Outside the struggle. We are Zoria Triglav. So who or what? is Zoria Triglav. What do the Triglavians really want? And what exactly do the Drifters and Sancha have to do with any of this? Unfortunately, those questions and more will have to wait for future videos where we explore the other things that we know and have collected about the Triglavian Collective and other pieces of the Precursor Crisis. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have a lot of fun bringing you these and I look forward to making more of this kind of content in the future. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out. As always, relevant links are in the doobly-doo down below, including a link to my Patreon so you can join my other patrons in making this show possible all while getting access to the works in progress and of course, my eternal gratitude. Thank you once again and until next time, I'll see you in space.